My specialty is multiple sclerosis. I'm a neurologist by training, but I also did a fellowship in neuroimmunology, which was really laboratory-based. There was a very strong research program, a large uh, patient base, uh, and a uh, wonderful group of people in the MS Center, which really functions uh, like a family. The main challenge for me in terms of multiple sclerosis is the progressive form of the disease. So I think we have a pretty good handle now on relapsing remitting MS, early MS, which typically responds very well to one of the 10 available treatments now. As far as uh, the family, loved ones, of uh, uh, patients who have recently been diagnosed with MS, there's often a lot of misunderstanding. MS is really not clearly a genetic disease. There are some genetic influences, uh, but it's not anything that anybody did wrong or a gene that they passed on to their child, that sort of thing. So you have to clear that up right away. One of the big ones is uncertainty. MS has a high component of uncertainty, especially in its relapsing remitting phases. Patients are always sort of waiting for the other shoe to drop, you know, every new little bit of numbness and tingling or blurred vision, you know, is this going to be another relapse? Am I going to end up in the hospital? Do I need more steroids? Are we going to have to change the treatment, et cetera? I think things are getting much better overall. It's becoming, for most patients, uh, a disease where as long as they take their disease-modifying therapy, follow up with us regularly, exercise and everything, uh, the majority of patients do quite well. Usually, uh, my uh, passion, let's say, outside of uh, what I do here is music, so uh, I try to get to the piano or the guitar uh, as much as possible. I studied theory and composition in college before I went to medical school, so once I get settled in, I hope to get back to that on a more regular basis outside of work.